Hello. And welcome for the third time in a row to Zelda 2. My first Zelda 2. Playing the Redux version. The, uh, the Christmas stream idea fell through. Jack is going through a dental emergency. And we don't know if he's going to be able to stream until he takes care of it, so... I guess this ended up being the Christmas stream. Was, uh... Just me doing Zelda 2 three days in a row. I went down a chimney. And I'm going to load where we were last at. We did five out of six palaces. So we have to do the sixth one, and we have to do the Great Palace. And I'm starting immediately in the middle of all this. Surrounded by monsters. I had a lot of trouble leveling up last stream. In fact, the I think I only got one legitimate level up. Not counting the, uh... The ones you get for free by completing temples. And even the legit legitimacy of that level up is questionable. But that's okay, I'll, I'll do a, a three-day stream of Zelda. Could have done this in one sitting, of like a, uh, I don't know, an eight-hour stream. I'll have to see what the final runtime ends up being. I think I only went for two and a half hours the previous two streams, so I'm probably at about five hours so far. I've had to do minimal looking up. There, there was some nonsense in this game. I still don't think it's as much as Zelda 1. I didn't have as much trouble as I thought I would with this game. Link, hold your shield above your head. You can do that. You have human arms. Last second heal. AKA life. I don't know if they necessarily needed to rename the life spell. I get it, I guess. If you're gonna rename spells, you might as well rename all of them. Where am I going? There's a town, t there's a town down there. There's a swamp up here. I should go to the town first. I should get information. This happened with stream 2 as well. I now have to uh, relearn what little muscle memory I have of this game from my entire two times streaming it. Oh no, that's going to put me all the way back at the Zelda Palace. It's okay, we got shortcuts, we got a fairy. I don't need her, but thanks. Happy Boxing Day, everybody. Wait, what? Okay. That's bizarre. So there are exactly two field items in this game. And apparently one of them is bound to A and the other is bound to B. I have to press A to break rocks, and I have to press B to play the flute. I think it would be, uh, context-sensitive. It would also be nice if there was a spawn point on the second continent, but... Alas, there is not. Just get out of here. These guys, I, I don't like having to use the fire spell on enemies.
Hopefully. I wonder if I can level up my attack, en attack enough that I don't have to. That would be that would be nice. I would enjoy that. Just being able to stab the spiders. I wonder what these are, if these are supposed to be uh, Lazalfos. There are a lot of enemies in this game that are similar to later Zelda enemies, but are apparently different. They do not share names. Like the Crusader robes guys that I had assumed were whiz robes. But I think we found out they're just called wizards. Actually, with a little creativity, the uh, fire wizard guys could have been Pose. Pose shoot fireballs. Wear robes. It would have been interesting if uh, magic were more useful in uh, Ocarina. Because Link barely really uses it. Out this game, you're casting spells constantly. Majora's Mask, I guess, is arguable. Insofar as you're not really... It's not like Kingdom Hearts, you're, you're where you're casting spells for combat constantly. But you are using things like the, the magic Goron roll, the uh, Deku bubbles. Thing, uh, Link, Zora Link has his shield. You are using magic pretty regularly in Majora compared to other other Zelda games where you usually aren't as much. I guess there's like the, there's like the fire and ice, well, fire arrows in Ocarina are the main thing. But who, who used the spells in Ocarina? Nobody, right? Wind Waker was about the same as Ocarina. You didn't really, uh... You had your magic songs and you had fire arrows and that was about it. I hate these bridges! And I don't know what the status of Twilight Princess and the uh, other games are. <sighs> nope. Just gonna nope out. I should I, I should really just do this with every magic map. Or with every lava or water map. Oh no, this is the... This is the abandoned town. I knew that was a thing that existed. Oh, now I gotta find it. Now I gotta find the new town where everyone migrated to. So I just crossed that bridge for nothing. Something in the center of the rocks? Come on, open your eye. That's a little experience. No? These rocks are merely decorative. I'm sure there's something relating to them. I'll just have to, uh... 
Find out what? From, I guess... Maybe it's, the town is hidden in the forest. Oh, it could be anywhere, and I don't have any immediate leads. I guess I'll just, I'll just explore. That's all I can do. Ah! Oh, my life hadn't finished refilling yet. Fairy. I need you, Fairy. Fairy's gonna run away. Oh. Ah! Well, this is a specific encounter, which means there must be something here. I need more attack. Alright, this is Stonehenge. What's over on the right? Oh, okay, it's a pea bag. Bag of pea. Magic. Oh, now the fact that this is two maps means I lost my fire. Could cast another spell like shield or something, but that's okay. I didn't need it. All right. Is New Kasuto over here? This looks like a place that New Kasuto would be. Oh no. Come on, where are you? Probably should have. Looking for a secret village. Village hidden in the trees. Want that? Yes, please. Link never gets a uh, healing spell in other Zelda games either, to my knowledge. Again, haven't played past Twilight Princess. Well, this was this was a whole lot of nothing was here. Wait a minute. Where's my where's my walk on water powers? Oh, I suddenly can't do that. It's so arbitrary which water tiles you can walk on and which ones you can't. At least there aren't any, like, uh, hidden blocks containing important items here in these kinds of uh, 2D areas. At least this isn't Mario Maker. If I have to scour this entire forest for the hidden town, I, I will not be happy. I will not be pleased with that game design. About the swamp. Here's a new. Uh, here's a new cave. So a uh, uh, Spelunky two. The online co-op 
just came out recently. So that's something I want to, uh... I want to get, a, to get together with Jack for. And if we can get enough people for it, maybe we'll even have a uh, four-player Splunky co-op stream. Which would just be chaos. But, you know, that's the fun of it. Fun, quote-unquote. These guys hurt. More than they should. Oh, is this just a thing with an item in it? Is it even going to be a progression item? Come on. Open your, open your big dumb eye. I can't block the fireballs either. It's just a pee bag. Big old bag of pee. This cave was stupid. Alright, what else is here? I, I am. I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to scour. Unless I was supposed to go to, uh, the abandoned Kasuto. I know there's something there. There's, like, one wizard remaining. I haven't gone down there yet. Uh Oh, it's another wall. What? There's invisible enemies here, too? How many are there? A lot, apparently. Okay, so I'm not supposed to go through here before I have the spell spell. Which I know is renamed Enigma in this version. It's kind of a bizarre thing to rename it. And I'm back here again. I only get fairies when I don't need them. You notice that? <laughs> it is pretty much a straight line to the second continent, at least. Which is nice. Why, I can't walk on that water. Spiders. Uh. I don't think there was anywhere I had to go except down there. I've been. I've explored every other part of this continent, and I think I cleaned pretty much everything else out. I cannot walk on that water. I had some decent XP that li that last uh, that last life as well. I was up over twenty five hundred. So there's something over there, but that's in that weird swampy area that I can't get to. I guess I should. I guess I'll go back to Costo, Costo, the old Costo. I keep wanting to uh, read it as Kabuto. And I think of the, Nar the Naruto character. Oh, 
Bob and weave. It's like punch out. Alright, so I won't go down there yet. I guess I'll go to Costo and just try to try to survive. This makes the bridges so much more bearable. Why would anyone ever not do this? It's like a Dragon Ball Z character's reaction to a valley of traps and death. Just gotta get to the door. One door, that's all I need. Hello? Wizard? You got a spell for me? Yeah, you just had to power through it. The people fled to a hidden town in the East Woods. Okay. That's it? No spe- you- you know no magic! Hello, Darian. What- what a useless wizard! I mean, yeah, he's got advice, which is great, but... He has no magic that he is able to share with me. further into, t into the town to see what there is. I got no other leads other than the that for the east woods apparently. Oh, and I can't do the shield spell again. Uh... Maybe I need spell in that building? Well, <clears throat> didn't matter. Oh, and I'm on the same map again. You're gonna have your hands full with Mega Man. I'm not crazy about the, uh, the Mega Man games. Spicy opinion. It just, I, I always feel like there aren't enough movement options in them. And in a game with a health bar system, I too often feel like I'm being more or less made to take damage in order to progress. Wow, this town just goes on. I don't know, what do you what do you think about the series so far? You've never played the Mega Man games before, right, Darian? Oh, well, I hit, I, I hit something. All right. Well, that was a whole big old waste of time. Oh, that's not the spell I wanted. I'm a fire fairy. I also haven't played the... I, I've seen the Mega Man X game is played. I haven't played them myself. It, fe it just feels like a bizarre concept to me, because the Mega Man original games are very cartoony. With a very kind of goofball setting. Of like an evil scientist uh, repurposing utility bots for evil. And that they all have wacky superhero themes and everything. It was, ne it was never something I took as something that has a serious story in the same way. Even, like, Sonic Genesis is a little more believable. But then Mega Man X tries to make it, like, super serious and dramatic, and that's 
very bizarre to me. It, it just doesn't feel right. Mega Man X feels to me like that, uh, that one cartoon where they tried to make Looney Tunes serious. You know the one? They were like, they were like all green and they were superheroes. Wait a minute, he said, okay, he said the Eastern Forest, which suggests that patch of forest way over on the east side that was through the tunnel. But I went there, and I scoured, and I didn't find no town. Did I miss a spot? Oh, and this is all repopulated again. I have no magic. Just gonna have to dodge because I cannot harm these guys without the fire spell. This is a rough start. Well, that's nice, I guess, but it's not what I need to uh, live. I can jump over the red guy. Yeah. I don't want to, he's good EXP, but... I'm, I'm gonna die here. Okay, idea. Maybe I gotta play my magic flute. No? My magic flute will not get me to, uh, Kasuto. New Kasuto. Our village got destroyed by monsters, so we relocated to a forest full of monsters. They're literally everywhere! I, I really could have used that fairy. That fairy would have been lovely. Okay, I, I, I don't understand what I'm doing. I might need to, uh, I might need to look up new, new Kasuto. That did not help. Alright. Well, I give up. I tried. I, I went into every forest tile. Zelda to Kasuto. You do get more movement options as the Mega Man games go on, not... I guess it's just the one, actually. You get the slide, and that's it. You never get a duck. Just slide. So the equivalent of ducking is sliding back and forth rapidly like a dingus. Revealed upon hitting a patch of grass with the hammer. Okay. I ha I had to whack the trees with a hammer to to open the way into town. Oh, and it 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 closed because I I got attacked. You do have more air control than Castlevania, as little as that says. Wait, no, that's not the town. That's a random patch of grass. Can I destroy all grass with the hammer? I can. Well, grass, forest. I have to smash the forest with a hammer in order to find this place. This game is weird.
and I keep getting interrupted by enemies every two steps. I guess if I had the uh, if I had the original manual, it would probably tell me that I could. Uh, I could destroy forest spaces with the hammer. That doesn't sound so scummy. That's like an Eggman thing to do. I, I don't feel like the good guy smashing down forest with hammer. Wasn't that, wasn't that like the bad guy in Fern Gully? It was like evil industrialists trying to destroy the fairy forest or something? That's a movie I, I really don't remember. Okay, well I found it. Maybe it's there permanently now that I've discovered it. Secret. I, this, the sign says it's a secret town. Don't tell anybody, it's a secret. Lady? I will give you something good. What are we gonna do on the bed, Grandma? Oh, you're red now. Oh, okay. Grandma giving me the magic. Telling me there's a secret on the outskirts of town. Okay, great. Uh, how great is he if he doesn't know any magic to, te to teach me? Fern Gully's animation was gorgeous. Never seen that animation studio do anything else besides that one movie. Wasn't it the wasn't it the Fox animation? Because they did uh, Anastasia. Fern Gully. Also, I think there were, like, three of them? Oh, I'm sorry, it's one word. It's Ferngully. Scripted by Jim Cox. Oh, Tim Curry was in it. Production company, Croyer Films. Young Heart Productions, FAI Films. The hole in the temple is a bottomless pit. I wonder if that's Temple 6 or the Great Palace. Oh, there's another uh, another basement. Does this one have a wizard? It does. This spell has some mysterious origins. Enigma. Okay. Will it do anything in here? No, nothing. Well, I can now use that to reveal invisible monsters. So I can... I guess survive better in Costo. And I can get through the mountain pass. Call to the temple at the Three-Eye Rock in the desert. Oh, okay. I, I got... I got a play music for it. It had a direct-to-video sequel. Uh, 20th Century Fox was involved. 
Okay, there's a secret here, apparently. Oh, okay. Well, I can, I can surmount this. I'm a fairy. No? The secret is not to go over the wall, apparently. I'll have to be a little more creative. <laughs> oh. Okay. Just gotta use the spell spell. Go into the cave cave. Where I can find a key key. That's the skeleton key. Which I guess... I wonder if that is a mandatory item. Or if it's just something you can have that's helpful. So now I can unlock any door. And keys in dungeons are useless. Man, these sword beams are, are useless in this game. Most enemies are just completely unaffected by them. Except for, like, the, the mookest of the mooks. Like, the, the knife guys and, uh... And the, uh, the octoroks. Everything else, though, just worthless. Ah, that was a not thing to do. I pressed R2 like I could, uh, like I could, I could run, like in Spelunky. That's the game, that's what I was thinking. And instead it just sped up my emulator. Okay, where am I going now? Can I walk on this wall? I would love to be able to walk on water like the boots say I'm supposed to be able to. Because I can avoid enemies by walking on water. Go in peace. Unfortunately, this particular water is not walk onable. Imagine playing this game without having that cheese available. Like, not being able to do the jumping stab. That would make this game feel impossible. That would be like, uh, that'd be like playing Ocarina without being able to Z-target. Remember, did you know gaming about this game said something about Aonuma or Miyamoto said they didn't like it. I think it was I think it was Miyamoto who what he said was that he considered it to be a mistake. I believe the story was that they made a game not necessarily planning for it to be Zelda and then they decided partway through production that uh, they were going to make it a Zelda game. Also, Enigma did not, in fact, reveal the invisible enemies. Is that, am I wrong? It doesn't do that? Does Thunder reveal them? I thought for sure that was how it worked. Go away. 
Ah! Okay, so this is the sixth regular temple? Yeah, because the Great Palace has, uh, has, like, barriers in place. They keep you from going in before you've cleared uh, the six regular ones. Oh, okay. It's interesting. to see invisible enemies. Okay, so I would assume that is the key item in this dungeon. Boy, this would be way more annoying if these guys' health weren't nerfed. Get some nice, very, uh, useful magic. Get a heal in. Ah! There go my sword beams. What an arbitrary place the, the flames choose to stop. I mean, I guess I'm safe down here, because they do stop before reaching the proper floor. What you gonna do? You can't do nothing. I'm protected. Where are our Link meeting the Belmonts would go? He's not necessarily a, like, a holy crusader or anything. But Link has been known to use several sacred weapons. Master sword, silver arrows, light arrows. It's just vague sacredness, not necessarily Christian sacredness. Like, as soon as they find out that he's a follower of the goddess Hylia, and not, you know, Abrahamic god, then shit might hit the fan. Alright, come on, where are you? They're so easy to kill, you just need to expend the, the magic on the stupid reflect spell. Come on, I know there's one more of you. <sighs> Why's he gotta be in a hallway? He's just, he's gonna fall down the pit, and I'm not even gonna get the experience. strong distaste for this situation. There are only 150 for those guys. And yet you get a full hundred for these, these idiots.
Come on. Where are you? I'm not leaving without you. We got one more. Oh, I can't reflect their shots. I can't kill them, can I? Oh, I can't jump high enough without the jump spell. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. If I don't have to fight the blue guy, I'll be happy about that. Get a bag of pee if I want. I do want. I will get the bag of pee. Oh, hello. Ah! What's over here first? Oh, they don't even get stunned. Ow! Where are you? There's a bad place to, uh, bad place to stand. Wow! Well, okay. There are invisible holes. Come on, wizard man. There's so many of them, but that's okay, because they're decent EXP. So this goes to the whole area? Yeah, this is the way back up from where I fell. I don't want to use magic on jump. It's so precise getting the uh, three tile jump in this game. There we go. I have in my refrigerator a Red Robin hamburger that was left out in the rain overnight. My neighbor, I, I, have, a, I have a duplex, so I, I have one neighbor that shares the, uh, shares the building. And uh, I'm get my, I think my neighbor ordered Red Robin, and the delivery person dropped it outside of my back door and just left it there. Because the way, the way our duplex is designed, a lot of delivery people confuse my back door for her front door. I get kids knocking to, uh, to walk her dog and things like that. I haven't told her yet, I haven't been able to uh, get a hold of her. Because, you know, yesterday was Christmas. And I assume she was out all day at her family's or whatever, whatever she might have been doing. It's, it's an older lady. But because it was Christmas, they, it must have been ordered on Christmas Eve, at latest. So it was out there, at least overnight, in the rain. But it was also, also a pretty well-wrapped hamburger. So, I'm gonna see how it reheats. The fries were no... no. The, the fries were done, though. Inedible. 
Okay, so the room with the fire guy. I'm gonna need to use fairy to uh, cross over. Hello, Sandy. I do want to let her know so that she you know, get her money back, though. I got free soggy food. Well, no, the hamburger, I think, is fine, because it was wrapped well, but we'll see. I can fly higher than you. Not high enough, though. Oh, hello, Mr. Wizard. So, normally, this would not be viable because now I would be unable to change back. In Redux, I am able to change back. I guess I would have had to... Oh, I would have had to find exactly the spot the hole was at and uh, use the jump spell. That would have been annoying. There's a boss. Oh, it's this guy again. There are two of you? I forgot about this. The One of the previous temple bosses returns as a mini-boss. Oh, that means this is the temple with the dragon boss. Oh, that one sucks. Uh, Sandy, you... I know we played Spelunky 1 together. Just, I, I, I showed it to you, but you don't, uh... You don't really play the series. You don't have Spelunky 2, right? There we go. You want to play it. They, uh... <clears throat> they just released online co-op for Spelunky 2. It took a little longer to develop, and they'd had to, uh... They had to patch it in later. But it just came out, and, uh... I was cur I was thinking about getting four people together for co-op. Which would just be, like, Mario Party amounts of crazy. People dying everywhere. I just need to find, you know, two more people besides me and Jack for it. Online, online co-op is going to be really nice, though, because uh, unlike local co-op for Splunky, where it played like Sonic 2, you had one main leader, the point man, and someone else had to be on the... You don't have to share a screen for online co-op. You can both do just whatever you want to. So that's going to be great. Oh, precision jumping. <sighs> you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna get up there one more time. I'm gonna get up there one more time. I'm gonna get up there one more time, and I'm gonna go over here. Wait, that didn't help at all. I'm not dying. I don't need... It doesn't matter where I respawn. Ugh. There we go. How many, how many lives do I have? Oh, do I only have one life? Oh, I don't, I don't want to lose this XP now. I'm so close to a level up. I'm gonna be bad. Well, you know what? I don't need to. I don't need to save state. Wicker, uh, Wicker played Spelunky one. He does not have Spelunky two, and I don't know how interested he is in it. <sighs> I hate this. I'm being bad. I don't care. I just want. I don't want to lose this experience. Was Castlevania out before uh, this game? I'm, I'm wondering how much, if any, influence this game took from Castlevania. I know Castlevania and Kid Icarus came about around the same time. Okay, so this is the first floor of the bottomless pit. Oh, no. Nope. No, 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 no. 
What's in door number two? Nope. No, sir. I can take you. There we go. It's not an invisible wall or anything. Alright, well, what's on the left sides? Nope. Nothing. Come here. Oh, yes. 200. That's not enough. <sighs> Are those dark nuts? I thought they were iron knuckles. Maybe they're dark nuts. I'm gonna have to fight one of these guys and just rewind if I get hit. Or, wait... If I can just beat one of them. I'm not proud of this. Oh, he gets more he gets more frantic as he takes damage too. All right, come back here. Come on. Over here. He he scurries his little feet as he comes closer. It's fine if I die now. I got my experience. Actually, I could I could all jump out just jumped over all these guys. The Mega Man collection has the rewind feature. Uh what is the collection on? Is it like on computer? You mentioned the only Mega Man you'd played was like Mega Man 2 on touch screen. guys are a decent little bit of a uh, little bit of experience for not too much trouble unfortunately they have to exist in these stupid lava rooms got it on ps4 that's right you have a ps4 and I don't have enough for the reflect spell so can't do anything about these guys Desperately fighting to stay alive. All right, now. Now I can reflect. And I can get a little more EXP that I am not going to be able to use anyway, because there's no way I'm going to get to 6,000 before I die again. I don't know why. Fighting these guys, I kind of think of the Ice Wizard from Castle Crashers. That's something I'd love as a Castle Crashers, too. There was a... There was a game in the recent indie thing that looked like it would play similar to Castle Crashers. I don't remember the name of it, but it had like a uh, it had like a Central American theme. It's an interesting room, fairy mandatory. I can handle a skeleton or two. Come here, Skull Daddy. Oh, have I been here before? No. 
Well, I already got the item. So... Oh, there's another one of these guys? Okay, two of these guys in the same dungeon, and also the boss. At least I got the attack level up now. I'm doing a lot of damage to him. Yeah! So yeah, the skeleton key is optional. It's just a nice thing to have to help you speed through the dungeon easier. I guess I just didn't need to go down that other, uh, that other room. Maybe. Oh no, I didn't want to use that twice! Man! Nope, not taking it. We're not gonna take it! No, sir. I'm tired of fighting you stupid blue knights. You blue nuts. Oh, that's a life. That doesn't restore my, uh... That doesn't restore my life. My health. Well, that was fun. Okay, so I need to use fairy in that room. Oh, do I need to climb back up again? That's what the elevator was for. What is that? There's a hole in the in the wall. Like the hit Nickelodeon game show. Cartoon Network game show, whatever. A lot of, a lot of skull fuckers in this room. Wolfenstein 2's ending credits theme is a screamo metal version of We're Not Gonna Take It. Oh, okay. Interesting choice. Maybe a little bit of a silly song to, uh, represent fighting Nazi Germany. There's no, well, Nazi everywhere, in the case of Wolf Wolfenstein. Where are you, magic man? Please, mama, try to understand. Where'd he go? He, d he just left. He knew I casted Reflect, and he just doesn't want to deal with me. Stupid elevator. Get down there. Get a bag of pee. Well, now, where's the, where does this go? This is a dead end room. But is there anything cool in it? There's another bag of pee. Oh no! These guys are hard to fight on this. I don't like this room at all. Why are there so many of them? I got a new Elgato for Christmas. That's that's cool. You're still using Elgato? I think if, next time I... If I ever get another capture card, I, I don't think it will be Elgato. Mine has had issues. Aside from the delay that is universal to them. Ours has had issues connecting to certain TVs, and uh, Wickersham uses an Elgato. His, apparently they dumbed down the interface and took away a bunch of options in the newer ones. And now when he records Nintendo Switch, it's, uh, it's in a black box and there's nothing he can do about it. 
So I would advise against them, if at all possible. Okay, I'm gonna get fairy ready. And fairy! Free skeleton EXP. Skeletons are easy. I say and then take a hit. Oh, great. I got two lives. Less than full health. Here goes nothing. And of course, it's in a room full of lava. Ow. How do I not get hit by that? I guess I have to... I'm gonna have to jump at the right time. Those are fast! Yeah, imagine if Bowser shot fire that fast. It seems like the best place to get him as he's going down. Okay, maybe this isn't so bad. I'm used to watching the uh, randomized version and this guy having just a crazy amount of health. It's it's Beta Volvagia. Volvagia. Okay, yeah, this is a pretty basic pattern. I was worried about nothing. This might be one of the easier bosses. Basic bitch. Dragons ain't nothing. Oh, uh, present company excluded. I'm I'm never gonna I'm never gonna level up by just EXP again. I'm surprised I even cheating blatantly. I'm surprised I did that this stream. I take it back. Dragons are are something. All right. So now. That's all the palace is done. I can go to the... And go to the other... To the, the... The swamp. I can see invisible enemies now. Is there anything in... In Kasuto? No, it's just the one... It's just the one guy. can't just walk across that water even though I have the, the boots. Alright, down to the weird brown stirring shitstorm. Here we go. Okay, I have the cross, which means I can see these guys now. Oh, that's what was hitting me. Okay, okay. So the dudes and their... Were the dudes and their rocks invisible? I was taking way too many hits for it to just be these little blue guys. Oh, so these guys are accurate with their rocks. Oh, these are... These are, these are lava room encounters. This is bad. I don't like this this area at all. These guys are worth some nice EXP though. If I can hit the stupid things. 
I really just need to get the first hit on one, and then I can just bounce. There we go. There's blue Lazalfos here. How tough are you? Oh, you you throw the you throw the unblockable. I don't like you at all. I'm gonna leave. Don't like that. I don't like these rooms at all. Okay, the blue guy didn't show up again that time. Once again, fighting one of these guys in a narrow hallway is never fun. Well, hmm. I appear to be in a situation. Nope, not taking that. No, sir. I will accept only the fairest deaths. Those guys are only one hit now. Always in a hallway! Cheap bastards. That's a precise jump. That's a very precise instant death lava jump. Another one of the same map. That's fine. I have the power of emulation. Which I claim right to as a first time player. I'm gonna die now. You couldn't at least make multiple maps of these lava rooms. You're just gonna reuse the same one. I, I hate this jump. This particular jump. Yeah, imagine I needed to go back after the Great Palace. I'd have to go through all of this again. Or I guess just get a game over, granted, but... These blue guys are way easier than the red guys, and they give... More EXP. Oh no. It's a fireball scorpion. And I can't... I can't shield the fireballs. I just gotta dodge. In a narrow hallway. Nope. I'm leaving. Should I pick up Spelunky too? Uh, I mean, I, I wasn't talking about today, but, I mean, eventually, when Jack is free, I would like to do a four-people stream of it. If you're interested in that, then you can pick it up. It is much harder than the first one, though. I, I hate this. I don't, I don't enjoy this at all. I don't know why I was doing that, but it was a cool effect. There we go, there's some magic. I'm on the cusp of death at all times. I'm just gonna go to the right. Why's it gotta be a lava room? Always lava. And 
and room number three of this same layout, but now the guys are red. Which doesn't really make much of a difference, other than they're worth more uh, experience, at least. <sighs> Again, imagining doing this without any rewind or save states. I can imagine many unhappy children. I, I would have never completed this game as a kid. I do not have enough for heal. Really? One away? Come on up. Okay, final cave. And I can't even get past the bouncer. Is this proof that I would be bad at Dark Souls? I've never played it. Man, this game is the Dark Souls of the NES. This wasn't that uncommon for the games of this era, though. I mean, yeah, this is... Even among hard NES games, this is kind of, uh... Kind of exceptional. But, like, Mike Tyson and Punch-Out. Even Mario 3 towards the end got, uh... Pretty hairy, considering that you had finite lives and you had to... You couldn't save the game, you had to do it all in one sitting. Obviously, Mega Man, the Castlevanias. Okay. Now, if I'd come here before having all six palaces completed just because I was exploring, I would have not been able to pass that barrier, and I would have had to go back through that volcano land all the way to the beginning again. Or more likely, just gotten a game over. Hello! See the, uh, see the NES booba? You know what? That's fine. I'll take that. Dark Souls is more lenient than people make it out to be. I kind of figured as much. Wait, no, I can't? Oh, it's, it, not only do I need to cast fire, fire ups the power of your sword. Wow, those guys suck. So I need to cast fire, and even then I can't hurt them with the projectiles. It's just a really annoying magic gate when I have to have eight magic in order to damage something. Nintendo's way of being clever was just being cruel? Well, how, how do you mean? 
referring to something in this game. The holes in the floor, oh yeah. That's, uh... There's some bits of what I would call Mario Maker game design in this game, which is not a good thing. You don't want Mario game... You don't want Mario Maker game design in your game. Hello! Ooh, yeah, unblockable fireballs. And Link cannot duck low enough to get under them. He also is terrible at breaking these blocks with his sword. I just, I can't do anything as long as they're both here. Oh, that was bad. I didn't like that at all. And there's another one. Another series of artillery men. Worms. I don't know what else I can do other than do this and just take damage and have to back off because I can't duck under that one fireball. I just, I have to bob and weave between them. Well, those guys have... Okay, so there's now super HP bubbles. That are as slow as the normal ones, but worth 50. I'm guessing there's going to be invisible holes here for me to fall through. And there's one of these guys. Gals? Question mark? So not only do they throw unblockable hammer bro like projectiles, but they linger on the floor and pursue you. Oh, and there's another one. Okay, once you get in, it's okay. More or less. Maybe less rather than more. It's a little less okay. I gotta not knock it down, but it's gonna get knocked down anyway. And now what? Hmm. And that just, it went down on of its own accord. This is a bad situation to be in. Remember when we were talking in uh, Mega Man about nigh unavoidable damage situations? There we go. Hello, what's in this room? Lava. You guys good on lava? Eh, it's a big slime who you could not see approaching, he just kind of drops in from the ceiling. Oh, these are super slimes with lots of HP, but still only worth 10. Why do they have so much HP for that little experience? Is there another big slime coming? No.
Oh, it was one of these. What, what, what even is this? I haven't met this guy yet. You're new. And you're in a hallway. I love hallways. At least his stuff is blockable again. He's, he's basically just the Blue Knights, but presumably with slightly different stats. No! Any any room with these guys and lava is a cruel joke. Even worse, the uh, the ones that spit fireballs. I feel like there's there's gonna be a room like that in this palace. A lava floor and the and the guys that slowly approach spitting fireballs. And there's a blue guy. Taking way more damage than I would like to. Let's see if I can take less damage. Significantly less damage. Oh, it's a blue bird guy. That's what this is. Wait, I can't... Oh, that was a high one. Let's not. Let's not fight! Let's be friends! I'm gonna have to fight him. Oh, wait, I can't block those ones? Or is that a high one? That was a high one. So, it's the Blue Knights, except now they jump. This is awful. I can't get a single hit in. There we go. Hey, I'm one, one, like, sixth of the way there, maybe. What do you want me to do, Sandy? Just die? Go back to the entrance? How many lives do I have? I, I'm on my last life. So if I die, I will return to the... I will return to the temple entrance. Which wouldn't be the end of the world, but... I'd like to not. That's another change of the Redex version, is the uh, death screen was made less seizure-inducing. Okay, I'll take it. Remember that one moblin in Zelda 1 that helped Link and said to keep it a secret? Yeah. That was the Paper Mario had uh, Goombas like that. Well, not... There was like a secret shop in Bowser's Castle where a Goomba would sell you stuff. 
It was the first thing that comes to mind in regards to a helpful... Helpful Mario enemies. Oh. Oh, and these, these ones have unblockable fireballs. Why are you gonna give me a shield if I can't block nothing with it? Maybe... Maybe I can power up my shield. Oh, I, I can do exactly that. Okay. So in order to... In order to block the fireballs, I need to power up with Reflect. I learned today. That will make things slightly easier. Motherfucker! 70. There's even stronger ones now. Is, is that all that's here? Is a surprise skeleton? This temple is mean-spirited. I'm being bombarded. You know what? I have a heal. What am I doing? These fish are somewhat decent XP, all things considered. I said this at the start of the stream, but you use so much magic in this game compared to uh, later Zelda games. Like, re you really don't use the spells in Ocarina at all, except for Din's Fire when there's, like, a, a story progression reason, like with the Shadow Temple. Oh, there's nothing down here. This is just the pitfall. And Majora also doesn't really have spells. You do have the magical moves of the masks, at least, which is something. But in terms of straight-up wizard stuff, like Zelda 1 and 2 are the most magical links. Zelda 1, you get a... Uh, you can equip a wand, right? Or is that... No, that's Link to the Past. You had a wand that you could, like, uh, shoot fireballs out of. that and I can't even beat the bird guy. I still don't have enough for heal. Wow, I, I actually dodged those fireballs. Somehow. Now am I only going to a room that I've been to anyway? I feel like I am. Once again, I find myself with no magic. Wait a minute, I don't, I don't have fire cast. Why, why am I able to hurt it? Oh, I can stab it without fire. I thought I needed the fire spell. 
So, uh, the Great Palace. This could take a while. I wonder if shield boosts my shield properties. Or if I need to use reflect to block the fireballs. Hello. to fight you. There we go. Take the pee bag. What's in here? It's a red guy. Lovely. red guy which will take all of my skill and health to maybe defeat. Those bird guys don't mess around. I use the crap out of neighbor's love. fire on both sides? Yep. Yes, there is. Are, are those the Fakas? The Birdmen? I can't eat. It, it fell into the ground off screen. Okay, I'm going to test something. Shield. Nope. It has to be reflect in order to block the fireballs. So shield increases your defense, but does not actually improve your shield. Boy, this will look cool in the, in the in the YouTube video when I edit out all the rewinds. I'm gonna look so skilled. Hello. Nice weather today. Is this the place that I, I came before and died? I don't think Thunder's, like, useful against common enemies. I could try it, see what it does. It did some damage. I, still, I don't know that I want to use the magic, though, because that's a lot of magic for Thunder. That again, maybe it would be better spent than uh, actually fighting the guy and using heal. Because that's going to be a lot of heals. Hmm. 
There's my last heal. And I've dealt, like, two hits to this guy. I remember there are stories of this game where, uh, the Nintendo helpline would get calls about it. And they would advise players to, uh, try leveling up more. Because they couldn't beat the final boss. And the players would, uh... They'd reveal they were already at max level. And the helpline could offer them no solutions other than to get good. It's just, these blue guys are just going to be a wall every single time. How far back does it even go? I rewinded quite a ways the last stream. I'm going to undo genocide mode. I'm going to try to go the pacifist route on this guy. Maybe we can be friends. Maybe that's the solution. Obviously fighting him is a mistake. Heal is 25. I, I, maybe I should just use thunder. I will allow one hit on me for every one hit on him. That That is my limit. Any more and I'm just gonna die. And we're gonna be here forever. How much health does he have? You remember those, the, the bosses on the horses? The ones that were bosses of previous temples? Those guys are way easier than the blue guy, than the, the blue bird men. I'd rather fight three of the mini bosses again than one of those blue bird guys. Uh, did I do it? Uh, is this the end? Oh, hello. You're not a boss, but you're big and skull. And now you're a too small skull. You are many HP skull. Don't get me, fire. Stay back. Wait, wait, there's another one? I cannot afford damage now. It is unacceptable. Do you have any, uh, 
Darian, do you have any favorite uh, Mega Man enemies thus far? Why? Why they keep coming? There's always more of them. No! Unacceptable! I do not accept. No, 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 no! There you go. Stay over there. Stay back. Stay back! Ah! I'm a fairy! No one hurts fairies! That guy also has a deceptively large hitbox. Okay. I'm gonna need to go in and bait this other guy out. That's what I'm gonna need to do. No? I'm gonna get a storm of 12 knives in after me is what's gonna happen. Oh, uh, just which, what, what, whatever. Any, any of the robot masters that were memorable to you? I remember Metal Man mostly because he was, like, the go-to to start with in Mega Man 2. Because the Metal Blades were so, uh, so powerful and useful. He's still gunning for me. He's following me! No! I thought that was the, I thought I was at the boss, like, that was the end of it. Oh, thank you. How am I going to get you? That was a little unintended. You know what? I'm going to undo that because I really... I don't have magic to spare. Obviously, me being big on the Battle Network series. I'm, I'm most familiar with the characters in that context, but... I remember some of them in uh, the original games. Oh, okay. I'll take a life, I guess. They're not even that helpful, really, but well, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll take it. That'll be ni a nice thing to have. I will accept this token offering. It's about time for that soggy cheeseburger. <sighs> Let's see what's to the left. I like this enemy better. I'll take the blue slime, and I, I guess the harpy. Alright, I'm just gonna do my best, best to not get hit. That's my plan. And when I do get hit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat and say it didn't happen. 
I can't even defeat the chickens in time before they get to the back wall. They have so much HP. The slimes are called bots. Okay. No. Bad heads. Okay, what is this? Where am I going? There's just always more of them. Is this just a pitfall? Is just a pitfall. Hello? I know there's one more of you. Uh, hmm. All right. Where's this going? Is there another chicken man? Yes, there is another chicken man! Is this the room I was in before? Or is this a different chicken room? Feels like you're going backwards. It feels that way, but I don't think I've been to this area before. Because I would have remembered going through that, uh, that fairy room. And I can't even cheese past the chicken man. With the, with the fairy again, because there's blocks I have to destroy on the other side. He's following me through the stupid tunnels, even. No. Ah! Yes, I've gone through Death Mountain. Death Mountain is uh, early in this game. Even though it is the end of Zelda 1. Okay, now I know I've been through a lava room with these guys before. And there's a red chicken man.
though I have been here before. I think that particular blue chicken man that I was just struggling to get past was where I got to and then died on a previous life. Well, that's almost the... That's like the, the punch out. The, like, you got to another, another, uh... League music. Do 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 Wow, how far does it go? It goes a ways! It's still going! Bites the dust -o. Link has graduated to being a Jojo villain, complete with time manipulation powers. Wow. Yo, man, this is trippy. I'm good with that. That that's enough. I fought some heads in this room. I, I'll I'll keep the exp from those heads. Unfortunately, this means that I have another blue man to go through. Assuming that this doesn't lead to a place that I've already been to. I don't remember a fighting a blue guy in this room. I do remember having one of these skulls in a hallway like this. Is there anything at the end of this hallway? No, it's just a dead end. Uh, who do you know who has called it quits at, dead mount at Death Mountain? Like, uh, Game Grumps? I know they stop before they finish a lot of games. Look at that just storm of projectiles. Okay, so I went this way. That was the way with the extra life. I have not... Did I go... I thought I went this way. Final palace, and you can still be very easily done in by a slime. From YouTube comment sections. Okay. Well, I guess I'm... Uh, I guess I'm backtracking. No, this was the ferry, was what was over here. Oh, and I came past a blue guy to get down here. It's the only way I can go? Through that blue guy that I just rewinded through? This was the dead end. This just had a skull at the end of the room. So either the way that I can go back is through two blue guys. I guess I'll go the above route, because at least I know I can cheese that one. You know what? Zelda 2... Great Palace map. I know, I'm a, I'm a filthy cheater. Mm. 
And anyone who really knows this game is gonna hate me. But I've, I've, I've had my fill. Okay, where am I? Okay, I see the room with the curtains and all the skeleton men. And then I went down. And I went across the... Br okay, so I see the room with the, the giant slime and all the dudes. Then it's down past the blue guy. Oh, there's multiple rooms with curtains and enemies. This is, uh... This is mean. I see where you have to go, and it's really, really obtuse. Alright. So... I'm gonna go back down to the bottom. I'm at the bottom. I'm going the right way. This is where I want to be going. I, I would not have gotten this without looking it up. I, I would have been here for hours. Here we are. Through the invisible floor underneath those particular blocks. Alright, then I think we're just going right all the way to... No, not quite all the way. Right is another big, long, dead end with lots of difficult enemies, so let's not do that. Ooh boy, I can... I, I know exactly why people tell horror stories about the Great Palace. Refuse to take damage from slimes. Alright, here we go. Down another hole. And I'm gonna go here because there's some magic refill. And that sounds real nice. go. Full life, full magic. Why didn't I just do this for the last... Oh, I didn't have full life for the other slimes. One of the few enemies that are affected by the sword beams. There's barely any of them. Basically useless. Alright. Finally, we're here. Uh, okay, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna use shield. I guess maybe I should use reflect. I guess I maybe I should use both. Because I know this boss does, uh, like, jumpy fireball stuff. the Thunderbird. And I cannot even damage it before using Thunder on it. I don't know why it's called the Thunderbird. It doesn't look anything like a bird. What's, what's, what's the matter? Okay, there I go. I just was not precise enough. I also cannot upstab it. I need to uh, stab precisely in, I guess, its face. I, 
thought I was aiming for the jewel on top, but apparently not. I'm this is actually very generous in the number of hits that are being uh, reflected. Oh, wow. Maybe not. hits. Get my heal. There we go. Look, the point is that I'm playing the game, okay? I wonder how Jack would feel about this. I wonder how far Jack has played in Zelda 2. There it is. There's the Triforce and the little, the hobbit that guards it. Who doesn't still doesn't think I'm worthy of the Triforce, so I have to I have to fight Link, Link's shadow self. The first appearance of Dark Link. That was way easier than Blue Chicken. Yes. Both final bosses combined are easier than one of those stupid blue chicken enemies. Granted, that was because I cheesed the hell out of, uh, out of Dark Link. Fighting him normally, he would probably, probably be comparable to the Blue Chicken Men. Except maybe not, because even he doesn't have, like, laser swords. But forget Guardians, forget Dark Nuts, any enemy in modern Zelda... Bring back the Fakas. Make them the final boss of Breath of the Wild 2. Make him the Kefka to Ganon. The, the Faka that serves as Ganon's royal guard, but then betrays him and turns into a god at the end. And then Link, Zelda, and Ganon can team up together and combine the unite the Triforce, because that is the only power on this earth that could defeat the Fakas. What did my previous two streams come to? Uh, 220, 220, and this is looking at about... Oh, uh, estimate 220. So about seven hours for the whole game. With the only significant abuse being on this stream. Oh, that's that's another thing that was added to the uh, the Redux version was proper credits. I, th I think in the original game they're uh, abbreviated or they're fake names and things like that. As was unfortunately the standard of the time. Donkey Kong Country also had abbreviated. Hello, that's an interesting screen. I don't know if the credits quite work in Redux. Thought this would have ended up being a much shorter game. I thought so too. I hit a couple of roadblocks just trying to find things that were obtuse or well hidden. Probably once per stream, I'd say. I, I ran into something like that that I ended up having to look up. In this case, it was the, the stupid hole under the floorboards. You know what? I, I did not... I did not make enough of an attempt to upthrust the Fakas. I will be sure the next time... I, if, if there ever is a next time that I play this game, I will be sure to shove my sword straight up their Faka. 
I, I guess that's it. I, I don't know if it's an infinite... No, it's not an infinite ending, it just broke. All right, well that was Zelda, that was Zelda 2 Redux. The fan modded, fan improved version of Zelda 2. Still very difficult, it, it still keeps the spirit of the game pretty intact, I would say. I don't know if I'll ever play it again, but if I do, uh, maybe it could be a randomizer? I don't know. We'll see, uh, still planning Ocarina of Time randomized soon, and uh, Rayman Redemption are both things I'm gonna start solo. Jack is off tomorrow, but I don't know if he's still working on his dental thing or if he'll be able to stream anytime soon. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.